is the video everybody wanted to see. Uh, this is a nice piece of cherry, but it has a problem. We found some metal in it, so let's get the metal detector. It's right there. Right in the center there, Mark. So. Just peel some of that bark off of there and. Start with an axe just to see if you can visually see it. It, it. The metal detector was a pretty hard hit on it. And then the next step would be to get the chainsaw. Start making some paths right here. It looks like it's right there, Mark. In fact, it looks like another one right here. It might have been a sign, a saigon. Uh, how are you? How are you picking that out? Are you thinking it's, it's the color? Well, this, see this little raised spot right here? That's how the tree was healing itself over top of the. Trying metal. to cover it up. Yes, it's basically the same as what a human does with the scab, and uh, I bet you're going to find it there and there. Okay. Like something's starting to show up. Is there a few board feet there that's a shame to throw away? What do we find? Right there, right? there it is. There's the head of the nail. So we found one there, and let's go and see if you can expose that one. And it was probably a no trespassing, no hunting sign, but you can see the. Uh, a little bit of growth over top of it. And the salvage this log is well worth it. So that metal detector, I paid $1,500 probably 20 years ago for it. But if you salvage a log or two and save your salt teeth, it don't take long. You there again, Mark? It's falling right down in. You the structure so we might need that chainsaw make two scores on it all right we're going to shut the camera off we're going to get some other arsenal tools and we'll be with you here in a second all right we're back and a little bit of luck this will come out there it is there's there's one one nail so far. I'm well, not convinced there's one in this other hole, Marcus. All right, let's we'll, we'll run a metal what. detector back over. Yeah, let's let's check it. Let's make it a uh, 16 ounce bit. All right. Daddy's very thirsty too. <laughs> And this log would have been cut up for firewood if we did not check it. And Mark, I think you're winning. You are winning. One nail. Move that uh, metal there real quick. And let's just re-sweep this. I'm going to come to the back side of the log. There it is. All right, well, now you got to see, <clears throat> and everybody asks about the metal detectors made by Renz. It is AP4000, and I think these are going for, if I'm not mistaken, somewhere around $4,000 now. If you own a circle mill, this will pay for itself a lot faster unless you have, if you have a band mill, What's a bandsaw blade today? Basically nothing. Pocket change compared to what we have invested. So you might want to weigh that out. But if you're selling logs and you want to make sure they're metal free, uh, that might be worth it for that business. So hello everybody. We're back with this uh, log that we just got done removing the metal out of. And this is your Friday video. So let's see what we get out of this log. Otherwise this log would have been 
in the firewood pile. So it's a banana log, but we're still going to yield something out of it. Otherwise, this poor log was going to the big firewood pile in the sky. Yeah, we got some crook going on here. So, the way I like to treat the crook, well, you put a crook in jail, but no, not this one. We're going to bring the, um, the bow side out. I do use the master dog on these. And we use the regular dogs. In fact, I'm going to back this up. Hold on here, everybody. Just bear with me here. Let's start with that. Let's get these big chunkies off. And now that I got the CNC machine, that would make a nice plaque. Alright, let's just whittle this down until we get a flat spot. There it was, there was the metal. Hopefully there's nothing more down there. We're gonna find out here in a second. I see some black streak. Oh God, it's a miracle. All right, let's take um, one more off. Right there would have been a bad day. Okay, I feel something vibrate. That was it. That. All right. Get the doggies up and out of the way. These get too thick for the swing saw. everything you want on these videos. I think we're going to go for one more board since it's looking so... Look at that quilting. I think it was Don Holden I was talking to uh, about some... Yeah, I see that, Eddie. We are in the pit, but boy, is that beautiful. Uh, he does a bunch of pole turnings and we're going to send him a care package here at some point. He just wants to get a bunch of thick stuff for turning blanks. Yeah, come on. Jewy's hungry this morning. And I'm not 
not gonna put a taper out on this. It's just not worth. Let's just get past all that nastiness. Talking to John Clark freaking Jig Bob. I to talk every Thursday. And he's talking about he needs track scrapers on his number one mill. And looking down right now, John, they're only on the front side. Now look how pretty that cherry is. That would have been all firewood if he wouldn't have checked it with that metal detector. I forgot to shut my other camera off. All right, let's work it on the face. But we'll have some more Eddie Camp to throw in on some video. All right, let's send it forward. that hate that. I just love that. I just want to get past all that unusable punk. One more board off before we still. Yep, we're still over six. your Friday E video with metal detection and uh, we showed you how we can save a log from the firewood pile so hope you enjoyed it please like please share and please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you on the next one I'll talk to you later bye bye